Hey beautiful people, it is your girl Capri. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure that you guys give this a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe right now because it's free. So today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm trying to beat this face. I know I haven't done a makeup tutorial in forever so that's why I was just like, I was going to do this look anyway for the wig that I have that I'll be showing you guys in my next video. But I was like, eh, why not do it on camera? So before we get into that, we're going to talk about the main part of makeup and that is skincare. So I got some products from a company called Youth. I'm using it for about two and a half weeks now. And when I tell you, like, it's been helping, like, my skin is so shiny. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it. My forehead is so shiny. My face is so shiny, like... It's always been really dull and dry and excuse this. I just took my glasses off and they just leave marks on my face and I hate it so much. But it's starting to clear my skin up and I can tell the texture has changed. So I'm going to show you guys what I've used. So, so far I have washed my face with the Youth Vitamin C Facial Cleanser. It has aloe vera, green tea, and seaweed. And this is what it looks like right here. It's just like a clear face wash doesn't really have a scent or anything let me check and see if they have fragrance i don't see anything that says fragrance on it so that's good so i'm gonna finish the next steps on camera so the next thing that you're supposed to do is use the balancing facial toner and for two weeks this is all i've used so it's gonna last you a minute you can find their products on amazon and then after i do that i'm going to follow up with the pure hyaluronic acid which y'all can see two and a half weeks and that's really all i use and i use two pumps and I spray my face heavily with this balancing toner. So, yeah. Then they also have a retinol 2.5% serum, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, and aloe vera as well. Once again, I'm not sure if y'all can see how much I use, but it's literally right here. Two pumps of this, but I only use this at night. So, I won't be using this in the video. But this, it makes your face tingle. It really does. But I feel like it works because I usually have smile lines that you can see when I don't have makeup on. But right now, I feel like it looks a lot better. And then you finish off with the day and night cream. I use this twice a day, day and night. Um, hyaluronic acid, snail extract, tripeptides, and green tea as well. So, we're just going to finish off the steps before we get into our makeup they want you to spray your face like keep your face wet with this before you put on this one and this one but like i said i'm not going to be using this one balancing toner get my neck to then follow up straight away with pure hyaluronic acid two pumps that's what i do at least and then And I guess it helps with the spreadability of the product. I don't understand why they want your skin to be wet. And then if this was nighttime, I would let this dry some. And then I would spray my face again with the balancing toner and then go in with the retinol. But usually I do the retinol first and then let that dry spray it and then put the pure hyaluronic acid on. And then once my face is like really dry, I go in with the day and night cream, which is the um basically my moisturizer i take about this much like not a lot and for two weeks like i still have like a full jar left i don't know if y'all can see that. then i just rub it in to my face and my neck i like to rub up because i don't want to get old neck like prematurely i try to rub up and out as much as possible or up and in but i feel like that makes for wrinkles so up and out probably is the best way to do it but yes like i said you guys can find these products on amazon i've already done this eye it's like a half cut crease attempt we'll see how it turns out when my whole face is done so the first thing that we're going to do is prime our eye with the milani eyeshadow primer in the color nude it's zero one nude prep my face too with the wet and wild photo focus primer I'm going to be applying the creative me palette by coastal sense I am going to be using three colors out of this palette I'm going to be using this pink right here this yellow as well as this orange for this look and yeah so we're gonna start off with this pink right here 
and we're going to take a brush like this it's like a smaller type of blending brush but it's super dense and that's why i like it it picks up a lot of product it's i feel like it's more so for putting on product than blending it out it doesn't really blend well so yeah we're going to apply that pink color and we're going to focus it two-thirds of the way down above our crease take it out to about right there let me zoom in okay now I feel like y'all can see the color a lot better yeah I'm not like the best person at makeup tutorials so now we're going to go ahead and take that orange color and we're going to pack that out here as well as over it and it kind of makes like this gradient effect I don't know if y'all can see it but this is starting to look more like a red or like a deep orange color. So now we're going to take a fluffier brush and we're going to go ahead and I think I have this Real Techniques brush right here. Take some of that orange and just go knock some of that off and go right above it and kind of on it on that line because you don't want to really see a line you want it to kind of like smudge out that I was using and apply some more of that pink and that orange just because like I said you lose a lot of color when you blend it's all about blending and reapplying I feel like all right and then I'm going to also take that orange down onto the lower bottom third of my lash line and my lid of course and I'm gonna take that about halfway I'm gonna take this elf 16 camel concealer in the color tan latte right here and I'm going to take it's like the super flat rounded brush you can use like a square tip or whatever but I like to use rounded because your crease is kind of rounded so that makes sense all right so I just start here and I kind of just get it on my lid first and then you can see in my eye that I have like this divot or like this like curve right here so I kind of follow that and go up if y'all can see that and I try to get them to match as much as possible but my eyes are always more like sisters than like anything else. So, I don't know. I follow this piece, like my tear duct, and then I go up like that. That's basically all I'm doing. Let me kind of sit up a little better so y'all can see. And I feel like they kind of look pretty close. I don't know what y'all think. I feel like they kind of look the same. And then from there, I'm going back to the brush that I was using in the beginning because you want to pack on color. So I'll be taking that orange again and going over top of this line of the concealer that I just put on just so it'll be easier for me to blend it with the pink that I'm going to be putting on it. There, I go ahead and take a flat um, brush like this. It's a synthetic brush. And I'm going to go in my 120 palette 2 eyeshadow. Excuse this. I put my flat irons on it and it was still hot so I like burned it. 
And I'm going to be applying this light pink, kind of sort of shimmery shade right here all over my cut crease. It's kind of looking decent, which I think. I think it kind of looks decent. So right now I am just going to finish my face so we'll do my face i'm not really going to do it on camera because the video is already kind of long but what i do for now for foundation is i mix the wet and wild photo focus foundation in cocoa with my Lani two in one right here just because i feel like this is too light this is too dark so i just marry them together and then i'm going to go ahead and highlight with the same concealer that i used to cut my crease the elf 16 camel and tan latte do that and then I use the e.l.f. This is not a sponsor video anyway. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. contour palette and I'm going to use this color right here. I usually use this but y'all know I need a new one. I hit pan on like most colors. So that's all I'm going to be doing to my face and then I'll do highlight on camera and we'll do eyeliner and all that and yeah so I'll be right back. All right, the e.l.f. volumizing mascara. All right, then after this, I'm going to be applying lashes. Where'd they go? I bought these off Amazon. They were like six or nine pairs for $12.99 or something like that. Or $11. My eyes are working so bad. I haven't worn makeup in a while, so when I don't, that happens. Um, these are the Christina lashes in Wispy. Hundred percent human hair is what it says. I don't know if that's true. And then I use the black duo glue. Okay, y'all. So I've decided that I do want a little bit of glitter, so I'm gonna take the NYX glitter goals in the color Metropical. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe the whole back side like pretty much off and just take whatever is left on there and kind of like dab it over this pink just to give it like a little bit of a shine and I'm glad I did that because it's already starting to take off some of my um eyeshadow on this eye I don't know if y'all can see it for my lips, I just so far have applied, they probably look crazy, but some brown lip liner and I think it's decent. So now I'm going to go with, in with Sephora. I got this on Christmas. Um, I bought it with like some gift cards that I got for my friends for my birthday. So I'm going to take the lip stories and celebrate. I think that's the color. It's matte and I'm just going to apply that to the bottom center and i'm just kind of gonna dab it out and then kind of go over it i don't know if i want to keep it matte. i'm just gonna take a little bit of my gloss this is like a 99 cent one nika k makeup from like the beauty supply store and i'm just gonna go over it And then I'm gonna take another one. I don't even know what this is called because the name's not on it. And I'm sorry, y'all. Like, my eyes will not stop watering. But yeah, I think I got this from Walmart for like $1.29. Alright, love. So, this is the final result of my pink orange and yellow half cut crease with a little bit of the rihanna fenty and the tear duct or whatever it's called <laughs> yeah so i hope that you guys enjoyed this look as much as i enjoyed doing it i have not done like a colorful makeup look in what feels like forever i think this came out really good so yes if you guys attempt this look make sure that you guys tag me on instagram don't forget to go like not like Go follow my Instagram, like some pictures. Um, let me know that you're from YouTube and I'll definitely follow back. Um, thank you guys once again so much for watching this makeup tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video.